Hello. Um, so let's finish off with uh, increasing convergence rate for solving the system of equations. Uh, we just finished with um, the Gauss-Seidel method, and then we came across this uh, this attrition scheme between the sex. Okay. So the next thing we are going to look at is how this is modified. Okay. Basically, you multiply this by some factor. Um, to increase iteration, um, the convergence rate, I should say. So, um, one of the methods used for increasing the convergence rate is uh, so called the successive over relaxation or SOR iteration. Okay? So, it's actually based on the idea that if you look at the equation during the sex, which is repeated here, without this omega 10 here, okay, uh, it's based on the idea that if you use a different factor, right, from the one that is given in 26, equation 26, um, you can get, um, you can get uh, a faster rate of convergence compared to the gauss seidel method. So basically it's equation 26 and you just multiply this displacement factor or time by um, this omega thing, which you can rewrite as this. So omega is often called the acceleration parameter because it accelerates the rate at which the scheme converges, or the so-called relaxation factor, and often lies in this range. Okay, I'll talk a bit about this. So, it's often not, you know, straightforward how you find omega. You often have to experiment, let's say, with a, a smaller version of your problem, to see which uh, which value of omega will give you um, a better conversion rate. And of course, from um, from 30, you can you can bring the x to the r plus one times to the right hand side, and then you get this, and you can also rewrite this um, in a different form. So these are all different forms that you can you can often use, okay, to do uh, to to code. All right. So basically, you can use the same code as for the gauss seidel and then all you do is multiply um, this this factor displacement time here by this uh, as relaxation factor. Or if you like, if you like, once you have the, um, you have a code for SOR, right? When when omega is equal to one, then you are back to the Gauss-Seidel method, method. So you can basically use the same code to, to test both uh, schemes. So that's what I just said. If omega is one, then you get the original Gauss-Seidel iteration an um, optimal value for this relaxation uh, depends on the matrix A. The coefficient matrix actually depends on um, uh, actually uh, what, you, what you let's put it. So the value that you choose for this um, and the convergen con convergence that you get depends on the nature of A. And sometimes in special circumstances you can actually obtain this omega analytically. Okay? But from experience, mostly you have to do experimentation. Just experiment with different values of omega and see which one gives you the best um, converge convergence. All right. Solving. Um, so we can solve the same problem that we, we, we solved using the uh, Jacobi and using the gauss seidel Remember when we used this Jacobi method, there was uh, we, we got our solution after about 28 iterations. Then we improved on Jacobi and used gauss seidel and um, we had to we had to iterate for 22 times, 22 iterations before we got the solution. Now, if we do solve the same problem and choose a relaxation factor of 0 0.8, uh, you realize that the SOR method will give you the same solution but with only seven iterations. So, um, I'm, I'm an optimal choice for this omega term actually um, uh, increases the conversion rate by a very, very large uh, amount. So in this case, it's three times faster than what, what we got for the um, gauss seidel method. Okay? So basically, that is, that is what I will... Um, we're not going to go into details of this. This is where we'll end. So you would, you would see some um, sample MATLAB codes. The first one is a Jacobi, the Jacobi method, which is coded here. Uh, basically, so this is the example that I have shown in the 
uh, presentations your matrix A is given by this B is this you can also use this as a function right you can comment out A and B and then I mean you can comment A, A and B here these two lines and then comment out remove the comments for this and then this becomes a function so you can basically plug in any matrix A any B and then you can run this to see the results for the Jacobi method all right um, this is the initial condition x naught um, this is just an initialization for your solution vector x and max is okay you give it how many times you, you should iterate you can change this to 1000 depending on how how many iterations you want to go how you want to allow so this can be changed okay and then this is the tolerance factor that i've been talking about this is like 10 to the minus 4. you can change this to 10 to the minus 6 if you want um, more accurate right if you want up to let's say six decimal places of accuracy i mean you can you can change that and then this is the main code for doing the uh, jacobi so take a look at it and study it um l here is basically summing okay if you take any equation in the system all right this one is summing the uh, lower triangular terms the, the u sum is for the upper triangular terms so this, this is what this is doing summing them summing the upper triangular and this is the formula for the jacobi okay all right um so so you you iterate until uh if k is less than the k max or the error is greater than the tolerance all right and then it stops Mm -hmm. and then you can print out the number of iterations okay otherwise it keeps going so take a steady this and then finally you have a solution is given by uh, x naught here okay that's the final solution in this case you know it just outputs the solution into the screen but if you have a big matrix you probably don't want to do that you can comment this out and then you can take a look at the solution yourself uh, the other one is a gauss um Seidel as well as the SOR so basically you have SOR and if um, you let the omega in this case W to be equal to 1 then you get a Gauss idol so basically let me see this is the same as for the Jacobi um, let's see yes so I use one here for the relaxation which means that if you run this as, as it is um, the result will be equivalent to what I should for the Gauss idol all right then you can experiment with it change different values of this omega say 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.8 0 0.1 1.1 1.5 uh, and see right which one gives you faster convergence so you can experiment with W here which is the relaxation factor again you can use this as a function if you comment out this and, and comment these guys right then you can plug in okay any a and any b and then and then use this as a function uh this is the same basically the same you have the formula for the um sor you have the relaxation factor here so here i am using i think equation 31 in the lecture notes let me just check that i think it's equation equation 31 so they are just you can use this you could also use this is that really doesn't really matter they are the same I use 31 in the code. So, so that is uh, equation 31. And then you basically follow the same thing, you output your results and see how it looks like. Good, so all the best. Take a look at this. Um, I'll try to set up some, um, some questions for you to try your hands on. All the best.